This is Brett Waltamath of Starwatch Media here at the 2012 Los Angeles Film Festival for the world premiere of the Western Dead Man's Burden. Mr. Call, Brett with Starwatch Media, you play the role of Heck Kirkland in, in uh, Dead Man's Burden. Can you please tell us a little bit about your role in the film? Um, all right, I play, uh, I'm uh, the husband of the main character, uh, Martha. Uh, sort of the, one of the main characters, uh, and I'm a basically I'm an ex-Confederate guerrilla fighter, uh, fought in Missouri in the Civil War, and then um, was kind of a bad man afterwards, and has moved out west, and is now trying really hard to be a good husband. Have you ever? Uh, was this your first experience in the Western genre? Yeah, this was my first Western. What was that like? That uh, was a dream come true, man. I was just like. Uh, it's like a five-year-old boy on Christmas every morning. You know? well, we've spoken with actors before, and it seems like uh, the Western genre is almost something that you check off on your bucket list, something that every actor wants to do at one time or another. Would you agree? Yes, I would. And when this came along, I was just like, please, 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 please. You know, and I turned down. There was a couple other things I was up for, and I just told my agents. I was like, look, I know this isn't going to pay any money, but I need to do a Western. Like, this just has to happen so I can die happy, so I'm going to go do this. What was your experience like on set? Oh, man, it was, uh, I mean, it was definitely one of the hardest shoots I've ever been on, just in terms of, you know, we had very little time, very little money. Uh, we were in a very remote location, so, uh, you know, we, had, we were shooting jam-packed days trying to make our schedule. So uh, it was definitely hard, but it was also definitely one of the most rewarding things I've ever done and just being in that beautiful beautiful location every every day just up in the mountains Did that also helps just everyone being in the environment getting oh, into character and yeah, really getting yeah, into the story yeah I mean we actually shot on an old homestead it was built in the 1800s so just you know we just were in the real place we had chickens and goats and horses running around every day yeah 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 and I heard that you were also trained in shooting with black gunpowder. Yeah, what was that yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. So I had to learn, because, uh, you know, they didn't have uh, bullets, or they had bullets, they didn't have cartridges back then. So I had to learn how to fire black powder weapons. Uh, so I spent some time learning that. And then it's just like every day practicing, because, you know, these are guys who basically grew up with a gun in their hand. And, you know, just learning, getting comfortable with, you know, learning that ease was a lot of fun. This was Mr. Moshe's directorial debut. What was your experience like with him? Oh, it's great. I mean, you know, Jared is, I mean, it was his directorial debut, but he's produced a lot of films. So he, he definitely, I think, you know, learned a lot of lessons from that. And especially having someone who had worked so hard on the script and developing it for so long, uh, he was great because he just, he knew exactly what he wanted. Like, and that made our job easier because we were on such a tight schedule. Since he did uh, not only direct it, but also wrote the script, does that help you as an actor when your director also is so familiar with the story since he yeah. created it? Does yeah, that help? because he knows it, and, and also, you know, you can, you can talk to him about it, and you can adjust the script if you want. And not that we really ever did that on this, but, uh, you know, it's just, you know, you can ask him, like, why am I saying this? Why didn't he has an answer, and if you want to talk about it, you can talk about it, and if you want to rewrite it, you can rewrite it. It's sort of, you know, it's one-stop shopping. Can you see doing any more Westerns in the future? Oh my god, yeah, sure. I mean, it, it, the parts are only going to get better as I get like older and crustier. So. <laughs> More a veteran of the West kind of role? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get some, do some Lee Marvin stuff, you know. <laughs> upcoming projects for you, or current projects? Um, upcoming, uh, I, I got like two films that I'm hoping to maybe do in the fall, but nothing's set yet, so I kind of don't want to jinx it. But um, yeah, hopefully uh, there'll be a couple more uh, coming out. Thank you so much for the time, sir. Enjoy the premiere.